Many longevity studies rely on food frequency questionnaires. So my question to you is, should the nutritional world start by applying supplement level rigor to food research? Yeah, that's an excellent question. And, and I think, so what I've seen from say nutritional studies in general that I find complicated or convoluted is that a lot of times uh, they're, they're what's called kind of meta analysis. So they'll agglomerate a lot of data together and try to, and then try to kind of pull out causality. But it's, you know, I, I often see this as an example with some of the, say, recommendations not to eat uh, meat-based products can sometimes be uh, not recommended. However, an example, because it's a meta-study, there's not necessarily separation between is, are these people eating processed meats that have a lot of nitrates, additives, chemicals in it, or are these people simply eating kind of fresh whole foods, whole meats that are prepared fresh and locally? So there's that kind of nuance to nutrition that's very hard. And then, as you mentioned, that that kind of then goes correlated. So as we've transitioned to this kind of large scale farming, we don't analyze or see what we are losing by being able to scale and mass produce foods. And we don't have good testing like we do for you know some of the very specific alkaloid testing that we do. And I think I, I would love to be able to see more of that capability come back to foods just because it's such an important, you know, what we're putting into our bodies is so important for what we need. And I would absolutely love to see some kind of testing be more applied to, to normal foods and see if we can fix those problems rather than having to even add supplements 